Good afternoon, everyone. Whenever Matthew asked me to speak at a Care Lever Covenant event, uh, when I was children's minister, his commitment to changing the lives of Care Leavers always made it hard to resist. Having had the great honour of returning to the department as Secretary of State, I'm therefore very disappointed that I can't be with you um, in person this afternoon to launch the Covenant's uh, Care Lever Friendly Employer Charter during Care Leavers Week but I was determined to still be part of this wonderful event. It's hard to believe that it was three years ago that I had the pleasure of launching the Care Lever Covenant in Birmingham. It was exciting to be the minister responsible for a policy that everyone I spoke to was inspired by. I said then that the challenge was to return, to turn, that goodwill into tangible results. Matthew and his brilliant team, uh, the Covenant's recently established Business Council and every Covenant signatory are meeting that challenge head on. We are fast approaching 250 organisations who have signed the Covenant and are making practical offers of support to care leavers that can transform their lives and there are many more signatories in the pipeline. Every one of them is helping us to achieve the five key outcomes that we all believe care leavers need to, uh, to lead successful independent lives, to have good health, to have somewhere decent to live, to be financially independent, to have people they can turn to when they need help, and to be engaged in education, training or employment. And we as a government are continuing to drive improvements too. Last week, I announced a further 10,000 laptops for children and young people in or leaving care. Unlike most of us, care leavers don't have the support networks to help them access opportunities or the encouragement to reach their full potential. The Care Leaver Friendly Employer Charter being launched today is very much about how we can nurture that potential. The Charter invites employers to develop an approach that goes beyond making recruitment processes more care leaver friendly. It also identifies the principles needed to ensure uh, the young person is well supported in their job and that systems are in place to track their progress and uh, investment in their development. Matthew has referred to the Charter as being industry standard for employers offering opportunities to care leavers, which I think is a really worthy description. I would like to thank Julie Towers, Managing Director of PINA, uh, for working with Matthew to develop the, principle, the principles in the Charter, which will help to ensure top-class employment opportunities and experiences for our care leavers. I'm also really pleased that the other eight members of the Care Lever Covenant Business Council have signed the charter on behalf of their organisations. Thank you to ITV, Amazon, Compass, NG, Lendlease, Metro Bank, Pina, Clarion House Group and uh, Trous and Hamlins for your organisation's commitment and willingness to be ambassadors for the Covenant. In particular, I'd like to thank Sir Peter Bazalgette, my friend Sir Peter Bazalgette from ITV, for agreeing to chair the Business Council. Sir Peter has contributed so much to public life and I know that he will bring huge passion, determination and commitment to this role. I also wanted to highlight a wonderful commitment from Amazon, which has been working with the Covenant for a number of years to provide employment opportunities. Amazon has recently agreed to pro provide 1,000 care leavers with a £50 Amazon voucher this Christmas, a wonderful gesture that I'm sure will be hugely appreciated. I have every confidence that other employers will follow suit and embrace the principles of the Charter as they develop their employment offers to care leavers. I understand we are already off to a flying start by getting a DECO group the second biggest HR provider in the world to sign up. Matthew and the team around him 
always aim high. There are no ceilings. They don't smash through and they deliver. I hear amazing stories about care leavers who have gone on to achieve great things despite their difficult childhoods. I've seen young people recruited through the civil service care leaver internship scheme who have not only been made permanent, but gone on to be promoted, including the wonderful Zahra, who is here today, who was a key member of my office when I was children's minister. Zahra is so pleased to hear about your progress and since has gone on to secure a permanent role uh, and have been promoted. So huge well done to Zahra and I hope you give her a round of applause as well. Uh, and of course, uh, research does show that care leavers who complete their uh, degrees are just as likely as their peers to get a first or a 2-1. I have huge admirations for what those young people have achieved, but what often underpins their success is that the young person was given a chance and then was well supported to succeed. That is what the Charter is all about. I'd like to thank you all again for being here today, for your commitment, your energy and your expertise in helping change the lives of some of our most vulnerable, wonderful young people. I look forward to hearing about today's event and encourage you all to work with Spectra to develop employment offers that will help level up outcomes for care leavers. Thank you from the bottom of my heart.